Welcome back. So today's video is going to be very, very, very exciting because Sephora is updating their Sephora Insider Point System thing. And to celebrate doing that, they're doing a 20% off sale for Customer Appreciation Day. So I'm not sure if this is replacing the fall 20% off sale or if it's just an extra one that they're adding on. I don't know. I haven't heard anything about it. But I do know that at the end of this month, the end of August, on the 24th, if you are Rouge, you can get 20% off anything at Sephora, and that's really all that anyone cares about, right? <laughs> so, like I said, it does start on the 24th, if you are Rouge, and then it the entire sale runs to, to September 3rd. If you're not Rouge, you can start shopping on August 30th. So basically, if you're Rouge, you get those first six days to shop and get everything out of your system, and then everyone else can come in and start shopping as well. Now, one thing I did see online that I'm not sure if this is something they've always done or if it's added, um, but the code will only be able to be used online once. You can use it as many times as you want in store, but online you can only use it once, which, I don't know, sucks. I like shopping online and sometimes I forget about things and then I don't want to go to the store and it's just... I wish they wouldn't do that. That's really, really annoying. Let me know down below if you know that that's something they've always done. I feel like I made more than one online purchase last year, though. I don't know. Either way, you can only use it online once this year. So, yeah. I will leave all that information down below in case you're more of, like, a visual person. Like me, I'm a visual person. I don't, you know, when people spew a bunch of numbers at me, I'm like, I'm sorry, what? What did you say? What? Can you get that back to me again? Um, so, yeah, I'll have all that information down below but long intro out of the way today we're going to be talking about my personal Sephora wish list for this sale now like normal I will be doing a follow-up video of one what I actually bought and I will also be doing a recommendation video it won't be quite as extensive as it was in the beginning of the year because that was a lot of products and I will link both those down below in case you're interested in what I recommended then pretty much all the same. I will have a few new things to talk about this year or this time around, but yeah. Today we're talking about my personal wish list. Oh, I don't even know where to start. Um, okay. First of all, I will be picking up the full size of the new Hourglass Caution Extreme Mascara. I just started using the Little Tiny Baby Mini that I got from Sephora. I just mentioned this in my current monthly makeup current favorites whatever it is um, video I freaking love this it's amazing it gives the most beautiful long defined spidery lashes that I'm obsessed with so I will be picking up a full size while I can get it on sale because $29 is a lot of money to pay for mascara like a lot of money I am planning to pick up the ABH soft damn palette I don't know if it's actually gonna happen We'll see. There's a reason it's taking me this long to buy it. I just feel like I don't need it, but at the same time, I keep seeing it, and I want it. And I did get rid of my uh, Too Faced Natural Love palette because I wanted this palette, and I thought they were too similar. So I'll probably end up picking it up. We'll see. I definitely won't be picking up the Norvina palette at any point. I just I have zero desire for that palette, but Soft Bam, I'm very interested in. <laughs> So I'm planning on picking up two different setting powders, which is insane because I barely use setting powders now, but both of these are like calling my name and I really want them. So the first one, Laura Mercier just announced and released a translucent glow setting powder. So it's their normal translucent powder but it's got a glow to it and I'm just like I'm so intrigued because I do like the Laura Mercier one it's not mind-boggling and with my dry skin it just doesn't do anything amazing but if they have a glowy version then that might be amazing <laughs> um so I'm very 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 interested in it um they came out with the regular translucent and they also came out with the medium deep version just like in their regular translucent powder so in case you're looking at it they do have those, plus a mini. So yeah, I'm very, very, very intrigued. 
And then the other one that I want to pick up is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I wanted this since they announced it, and I put it off for a really long time because I'm like, it's just a setting powder. But every time I see people talk about it, they're always talking about how beautiful it makes their skin look and how, like, lively and slightly glowy and just healthy it makes their skin look. And I'm just like, how? How does a powder do that? I need to know. I have this, like voice inside my head just like you need to know how that works you need it you need it in your collection plus the packaging is freaking beautiful i mean that like gold bottle sifter with the h in it it's just so pretty so yeah that'll be coming home with me um one thing that's like brand brand new is the new igk good behavior smoothing spray I'm so freaking excited for this. They literally just announced it on Instagram. It's already hit Sephora and I cannot wait. Like I put this in my cart as soon as I heard it was announced before they even talked about the fact that, you know, the new sale was coming and I knew I was going to wait for the 20% off sale because it's very expensive, but I need it. So this is basically a spray that you put in your hair. And then it's heat activated, so you know, whether you blow dry your hair or straighten it or curl it, whatever, it like bonds your hair together so that you have none of these frizzy flyaways that literally plague my entire life. Like, I feel like I look like a crazy person that hasn't showered in forever just because I have these curly little baby hairs up here that just refuse to obey me. So I'm really, really excited to try this. It is their normal $32 for the can of it. I'm just, I have to try it. I have to. So that will for sure be coming home with me. So I saw this mentioned in a video. Who was it? Mariah Leonard? Yeah, I think so. She did, yeah, it was her um, makeup bag tour thing. She talked about this friggin' pencil and it just intrigued me so much that I had to go find it. And as I started reading more about it, I'm like, why do I not own you? So this is the Urban Decay Ultimate Ozone Multi-Purpose Primer Pencil. So this is a clear primer pencil thing that you can use anywhere. You can use it on your lips to keep stuff from feathering. You, she said it makes any lipstick you put over top of it like completely waterproof, which is crazy to me. Um, you can use it to like fill in fine lines around your eyes. You can use it literally anywhere. And I'm so intrigued by that, that I have to own it. <laughs> it's literally just a clear pencil, but I'm going to buy it because I have to know if it actually works. It's too good of claims for me to not know if it works, you know? So I'm actually planning on buying a fragrance this year, which I didn't think would ever happen. But I got this tiny little sample of the Marc Jacobs Daisy perfume, which I had never smelled before. I know, I don't know how I made it to 2018 without smelling Marc Jacobs Daisy because I feel like literally every girl on the planet has smelled that perfume before and worn it or owned it or something, but I never had. So I got this tiny little sample in the mail and I started using it and I fell in love with it, but I literally only had like four uses out of that tiny little spray bottle and I'm very annoyed by that fact. So I'm going to buy Probably not the full size because that's $104. That's a lot of money. But I will definitely be picking up the Rollerball because the perfume is just delicious. <laughs> and I don't know why it took me so long to get here. Who knows? But I'm gonna I'm gonna correct that course and figure it out. <laughs> so I've got my eye on like one more makeup product as of right now, and that is the Smashbox Cali Contour Palette. So I've wanted this for a while now, a few months at least, and I kept like putting it off. I was like, I don't need face palettes. I don't need face palettes. I already have face palettes. But every time I see it, whether it's online, in store, on someone's video or Instagram picture or whatever, I just, I get this feeling inside of me that's like, why do you not own that? And I honestly don't even know if half these colors are going to work for me. I feel like the bronzer is probably why. I swatched it in store and it felt really nice really soft and buttery and I feel like the like brightening powder will actually work really well for me which never happens so I'm very intrigued to see if that happens um I'm just I'm really interested and yeah 
it's uh it's very expensive so i like ever since i saw it i was like i'm gonna wait for the 20 percent off sale because i don't need that but at the same time i need it i have like a hair or something on my face and it's driving me crazy like right in this area Okay, so moving on, there's definitely some skincare that I've got my eye on. I'll probably be picking up um, some of my staples, like my Drunk Elephant uh, oil and moisturizer. Um, I'm considering picking up the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. I love that thing, and I have like two uses left to my bottle, and it makes me very sad. So I might be picking up at least the mini size, if not the full size we'll see um i do however have my eye on something from pharmacy it's their skin do hydrating essence mist and setting spray so this is something that jessica braun has like raved about for months and i'm finally at the point where i'm like okay i give in we're just gonna have to see what it is so uh yeah i'm very very interested in this of course if i buy this i don't really need the tatcha one but We'll see. I'm going to end up with one of them. They're pretty much the same price, so who knows. I'm also looking at this Kiehl's Butter Mask Intense Repair Lip Treatment. Like, as soon as I saw Butter Mask for lips, it just sounds so luxurious and amazing that I'm very intrigued. And I haven't heard anyone talk about this. Um, I'm on the hunt for a new, like, lip balm treatment thing because the one that I have is, like, running out and also getting old so I really should throw it away but um this one just sounds really thick and luxur luxurious so I'm very interested I will probably end up buying it just because I'm just intrigued you know that's how I am I also really 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 want to pick up the freaking milk makeup uh kush brow gel the colored one I'm dying to try that freaking product and it's literally always out of stock in my color the dark brown literally always out of stock it came in stock for like two days last month and I didn't have any money in my account so I couldn't buy it and when I finally got paid again it was gone and I'm just like can't I really hope it's in stock for the sale I really hope it is my store didn't even have it in stock online doesn't have it in stock I can't find it anywhere and I'm not the kind of person to like go buy one product from an actual brand's website like, that's just, it's too much for me. I don't do it. <laughs> I don't know why, but I don't do it. So I won't be doing that. Um, I just really hope they bring it in stock for the sale. I really hope. This lipstick is getting everywhere, isn't it? Good Lord. I'm a mess. <laughs> okay, so I think that's everything that I'm looking at for the moment. Um, let me know down below what you guys are interested in picking up, if there's anything that... I need to have my eye on if there's anything y'all want to review on let me know I can do it I don't know why I'm doing all these hand motions I'm just very in that mood tonight <laughs> so yeah I hope you guys like today's video don't forget I will be doing follow-up videos in the coming weeks all the information for the sale will be listed down below like I said in the beginning and other than that I hope you guys will subscribe before you leave and I'll catch you in the next one bye